Fede, I accept. You've uh, asked me to discuss uh, whatever, have a conversation with you on Skype, concerning, presumably, antinatalism and depression. I take it that we, that you and I disagree heartily on uh, certain fundamental issues. For example, you don't like the fact that I link antinatalism and depression. Uh, perhaps a conversation will allow us to clarify my position on this, or at least allow me to clarify my position. And there are certain positions that I've seen you espouse in your videos that strike me as somewhat, uh, shall we say, extreme. <laughs> Um, but I do believe that there's actually the possibility of a dialogue here, because you and I have not um, resorted to uh, insulting each other's mothers the way some other people like to do on the uh, on, on this subject, the sort of pornographic, scatological filth that gets tossed around in some quarters in whenever antinatalism is discussed. We haven't done that yet, and I seriously don't think you're the sort to do that. Um, I'm not, that's for sure. You uh, won't get any of that from me. But um, I think that we are going to disagree, and I think that it might be an interesting disagreement. Um, just to be sporting, I thought that I would uh, advise you what I'm going to be bringing to the agenda. My fundamental argument, or my fundamental... Um, conclusion with regard to, say, Benetarian asymmetry and the imposition of life, or life being an imposition, um, I will bring forward uh, as follows. Assuming that we accept uh, Benetarian antinatalism, or I don't even know if you actually subscribe to David Benatar, I, I honestly don't know. You may not. Uh, but um, I suppose this is one way to find out. If life is an imposition, and if life versus never having existed is asymmetrical, what effect does human immortality have on the value, or sorry, human mortality? Did I say immortality? What effect? does human mortality have on the value of harm? I've raised this issue a number of times before with uh, self-professed antinatalists, and all that I ever get in response is, how dare you? You're saying that the Holocaust wasn't a big deal. All right, well, that's not really much of an argument. Um, but that's what I'm going to be asking. In the face of human mortality... What is the value of harm? I'd like to see how that gets um, addressed. Um, and as well, I'm going to be treating what I believe to be my understanding of the antinatalist corpus as a given when I approach this. Um, I'm going to be using, I suppose it's uh, called a material conditional what are the implications of a total acceptance of the antinatalist corpus? What are the other implications uh, if we look at the entirety of existence in the same way? In other words, if um, life is an imposition, what happens to that imposition upon death? Um, I'm going to that, That's what I'm going to bring. Uh, I think that I've been clear enough. Uh, if anyone else wants to leave me a comment on uh, what else they would like to see me discuss, I'm going to be discussing this with with uh, Fede tomorrow on Skype. Um, and I might have, I might have mentioned that earlier on in the video. But um, I, if anyone else has any suggestions that they'd like me to bring to the to the table, I just leave a comment, um, and uh, I will do so. Uh, I've never done this before. I've never once gone off YouTube. All I ever do is make videos and post comments. Um, so uh, it's uh, going to be something that I'm not used to doing, although I am used to speaking in public, and I'm, I am used to public debates. That doesn't bother me in the least. Um, but in terms of Skype, uh, completely new to me. Um, although uh, I am, I must confess, looking forward to it. 
Thank you.